banks. And according to a recent survey from the New York Federal Reserve, consumers are optimistic that inflation will slow down, signaling a win from recent Fed moves. News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan joins us now to break down that study. Lydia, my first question to you, how significant are consumer expectations? And does the Fed pay attention to that, or will they be more looking at the CPI on Wednesday? Well, yes to both questions, but this is a really good data point going into tomorrow's Consumer Price Index report. Give the little context, because obviously all of the data we have about what inflation has been doing is backwards looking. This is a little bit forward looking. It means that people were expecting inflation to rise 6.8% just last month. Now they're expecting it to rise 6.2%, still high but going down. Likewise, over the next three years, they were expecting it to increase 3.6%. Now they expect it will increase 3.2%. So again, a little, a little bit of a change, but a change in the right direction. And this is very positive news for the Federal Reserve because what their job is, is not just to hike rates or bring rates down, but is to set expectations and to message to people what they're going to be doing and what the direction of the economy is going to be doing. So this means that to an extent, they have been successful in saying, hey, look, we're going to rein in inflation, and people are obviously taking that to heart to an extent. I also want to note that um, expectations for food increases fell at the fastest pace ever. Um, so it means that even though inflation has skyrocketed at a rapid pace, it's possible for it also to come down at a pretty rapid pace as well. So positive news going into tomorrow's report, but obviously you hear the Food prices are continuing to spike, and, and so obviously a lot of competing data points there. But maybe a good time to go on a diet with everything costing so much money. Yeah, maybe just eat less. Not a, not a bad <laughs> idea. But hey, that's why we hang on every word the Fed has to say, uh, especially uh, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell. And Lydia Moynihan, that's why we hang on every word you have to say. Thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.